Now, if you have a lot of dupes in your org, then you can make use of tools like data.com's dupe record set or third-party tools like Dupe Catcher to find your dupes. Um, but they all give a link to the dupes, and there are some more sophisticated tools out there. Gives the additional bonus of creating tasks uh, to alert you for the dupes. And there are a lot of reasons to catch dupes, but not necessarily block them. You might be in a private org, or you may be getting them from a lead capture form, or you may be converting them. So from any lead record, we can click the Find Duplicates button. We can further filter our search results. Like for example, if I go by the last name. We see that it narrows the list down by the spelling of the last name, but it's still also using the phone number and other information to make matches. Since we can merge three leads at a time, I'm going to start with these three. Now, often it's better to let the users merge their own records because, as you can see here, we have several different phone numbers. And the only way to know which one of these is the correct phone number is to ask the lead uh, what their correct phone number is or how to correctly spell their name. So it starts with a master record, which is by default the first one in the list. But you can change the master, and you can also decide to change the fields. For example, if I wanted to change the owner, and instead of cold, maybe I want it to be hot. And then when I'm done selecting the correct values, I click Merge. I get a pop-up warning telling me that this procedure cannot be undone, and I click OK. I can then continue to use the Find Dupes button to find more dupes and continue merging them until they are completely gone. Thanks for watching.